welcome back. Y'all, please forgive my appearance. It's been a rough weekend. I have not really felt the best in the world. These allergies are kicking my behind, so I apologize. My eyes are just kind of itchy and irritated, so I didn't feel like putting makeup on, but that's not why we're here anyway. We're here because we are continuing to read from our little book, I've Gotta Talk to Somebody God, A Woman's Conversations with God by Marjorie Holmes. So let's just see where the Lord leads us today. He is so good. Oh, that's the contents. <laughs> I don't think y'all want me to read the contents. Okay, we're going to start. This is like the introduction of, well, it's after the introduction, but it's titled, I've Got to Talk to Somebody God. And it's fairly long. So we're just going to get right into it and see how the Lord chooses to minister to us today. So let's get started. I've got to talk to somebody, God. I'm worried. I'm unhappy. I feel inadequate so often. Hopeless, defeated, afraid. Or again, I'm so filled with delight. I want to run into the streets proclaiming, stop world, listen, hear this wonderful thing. But nobody pauses to listen out there or here, here in the very house where I live. Even those closest to me are so busy, so absorbed in their own concerns. They nod and murmur and make an effort to share it, but they can't. I know they can't before I begin. There are all those walls between us, husband and wife, parent and child, neighbor and neighbor, friend and friend. Walls of self. Walls of silence. Even walls of words. For even when we try to talk to each other, new walls begin to rise. We camouflage, we hold back, we make ourselves sound better than we really are, or we are shocked and hurt by what is revealed, or we sit privately in judgment, criticizing even when we pretend to agree. But with you, Lord, there are no walls. You who made me know my deepest emotion, emotions, plural, my most secret thoughts. You know the good of me and the bad of me. You already understand. Why then do I turn to you? Because as I talk to you, my disappointments are eased. My joys are enhanced. I find solutions to my problems are the strength to endure what I must. From your perfect understanding, I receive understanding for my own life's needs. Thank you that I can always turn to you. I've got to talk to somebody, God. Wow, I love this. Surprise, surprise, right? I love this so much because I swear it feels like she's reading my mind and what I felt like this weekend. Um, wow. But with you, Lord, there are no walls. You who made me know my deepest emotions, my secret thoughts. You know the good of me, the bad of me. You already understand that is so true. Um, I had in conversation with someone this weekend, I had something said to me jokingly and it really like hit me, you know? Um, and I was like, are you serious? And they're like, yeah, I'm serious. Cause a lot of times we jokingly say how we really feel, but we try to cover it up with a joke. And I cannot tell you what that did to me, the hearing it, and it hurt my feelings so bad. Like, I cannot even describe, and they didn't mean it to hurt my feelings. I mean, I know this person, and I truly don't think they meant it to hurt my feelings, but nevertheless, it hurt my feelings. And a part of me wanted to lash out and hurt them the way they had hurt me. A part of me wanted to never talk to them again. <laughs> a part of me was somewhat in shock. But then there was this part of me that rem reminded me of what we've read and what we've witnessed Marjorie Holmes do so many times is I took it to the Lord. I just took it to Him. He already knew how I was feeling. He already knew what I thought. He already knew the whole situation. And I just laid it out there and 
I just ask him to shield me from the hurt, help me to learn from what I was told, and if there's any way that I can improve or be better, then definitely help me with that too, you know? So, he already knew. It goes back to, there are no walls between me and God. Um, he made me and he knows my deepest emotion, my secret thoughts. He knew in that moment. Well, he knew it was going to happen before it ever happened. And then he knew how I was going to handle it. And hopefully I handled it and made him proud. And um, I just, I'm trusting God to get me through the hurt, you know, because we're human. And sometimes we're told things, be it true or false, about ourselves that hurt our feelings. And I'm very much human and I do get my feelings hurt. And as much as I try to fight it, it still happens, you know, but I am learning and I'm so proud of me. <laughs> I am learning to take everything to the Lord, the happiness, the joy, the sadness, the tears, the uncomfortableness, the indecisiveness, the confusion, whatever, anger, just downright anger. <laughs> I'm learning to take it all to God. And it may not seem like a big thing to somebody, but to me, it was a very big thing. And it was such a a growing for me because it let me know that, okay, daughter, you're actually growing in the Lord because you didn't lash out. You didn't retaliate. You didn't, you know, get childish with it you instead kept quiet mulled it over realized what was happening and then you took it to the lord and that's all we can do god uh, guys that's all we can do is take it to god take everything to the lord and um i'm just believing and trusting in him and as we know he was right there he still is and he will get me through Whatever it is I'm going through, this moment, this time, that situation, any situation that occur in the future, he's going to get me through it. And he's going to get you through it. We just have to learn to take it to the Lord. we got to talk to somebody, God. And who better to talk to? Number one, he understands you. He knows what you're doing, what you're going through. Two, he can actually do something about it. And three, you don't ever have to worry about him telling anybody your most secret thoughts and feelings. They're safe. So that is such a blessing in itself, you know. And then you're talking to the one who can handle the situation for you. Be it he chooses to not do anything about it, but heal you and guard you and shield you, that's fine. But then again, he may do that and handle it on the other side too so that's my thought and take on it I hope that um, helps you I know that I'm in a much better place today than I was you know the other day and uh, he's right here with me I feel him I truly feel him and I thank him so much for his constant presence in my life and I thank him for when I need him most, when I need to feel him most, he never disappoints. He's always right there. So I love y'all. I pray that you're blessed abundantly. I pray that you feel the love of the Lord just surround you and you feel him with you. And I will see you in the next one. Bye y'all.